Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. Last time I asked about your five most embarrassing things in your collection. So this time we're going to mix it up a bit. What are the five best things you have in your collection? Not necessarily the most expensive. Let's take a look at mine after this. Yeah, that's it. We're going to take a look at some of my favourite things I have in my collection. And a disclaimer here, there's more than five. When trying to narrow down some of your favourite things in your collection, uh, it's really hard to just go, this is it, this is the, the five. I mean, even looking behind the camera now, I can see two more things that I can bring out here and show to you guys. But I'm cutting myself off at this stuff. Not always gaming related, you know what I mean? And what I was saying as well is it doesn't even have to be expensive. Something can just mean a lot to you, which is worthless but it means a lot to you. So that's what I'm gonna ask is like, what are your favorite things you have in your collection? Like last time, there was lots of interactions in the comments, uh, a couple of videos made as well. So if you wanna just uh, discuss in the comments, make your own video, just yeah, let's all talk about this. Just because it's interesting and I'm nosy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Right, first of all, I'm gonna start with nothing game related whatsoever, but we have a Slimer Ghostbusters 2 backpack unfortunately no longer no longer fits on my back <laughs> but uh, I remember the Christmas morning hang on that's good is it uh, I remember the Christmas morning getting this and my parents got one for me and all of my brothers and this is the only one that is left I'm not sure whether this one actually was my one um, but it's so nostalgic it really is to me um, what's got on there 1990 uh, it was always a pain to put on that just his arms just like flop everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have him displayed up on my wall. And as soon as I hook him up onto the wall. Hang on, let's hook him up up here. Hopefully we don't lose the computer. The arms look, they just fold down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I need to like stuff him full of something so it actually fills it out a bit. But it looks really, really good. Should we leave him in the background? Should we pull him over here? Mm, let's not drop a computer. <laughs> let's cover up Robocop for once. See, look, his arms just disappear. Oh, we'll have it like that. There we go. At least you can see Edit it's Slimer. I absolutely love that. I really do. That is a connection to the past. And I think they're the most invaluable things we have. Something that I could rebuy this. I really could. But it's never going to be the one that I actually had. The one that my parents gave me at Christmas. And that, to me, is that connection. It's nostalgia. It's a very powerful drug, isn't it, really? Um, and if we can have that little connection to the past, it's really good. And on the same vein, again, musical instrument. I cannot play any musical instrument, but I have a Yamaha guitar. I don't know if you can get that in shot. Um, story behind this one is, do you know when you're a kid and you remember going Christmas shopping with your parents? Back at the time, when <laughs> I don't know how old I was. But it's that age where you're thinking, ah, Santa's not really parents buy everything for you. Uh, you know, uh, and I remember going round and I think it was Curry's. I really think it was Curry's. Big shopping complex anyway. I remember seeing this and going, oh, really like that, really like that. And I remember, vividly I remember this. My parents saying, look, we can't afford it. It's too expensive. Um, you know, they've done their shopping. We're winning the car. And as far as, in my head, and this is how it is, we got in the car, we went home. Next thing, it was Christmas morning. And I got to downstairs, unwrapped the Christmas presents, and the first one there was this. And it was on my little head, it was like, how? My parents said they couldn't buy it. They couldn't afford it. They didn't have time to go back and buy it. In my head, I was like, what? they couldn't have done. So was Santa real? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I've never learned to play anything on this. I, I love it for what it is. Um, when you play the demo on this, it plays uh, Last Christmas by Wham. And uh, this little bit at the top here lets you change the actual tune. I've spent the majority of the time just messing about with this and changing the sounds, playing all the demos on it. Never learned to play the uh, the guitar. Would love to, though. I mean, my daughter's played this as well now. I've got pictures of her a couple of years ago sitting there, like, rocking away with this. But, um, yeah, fond memories there. A lot of fond memories. I'm going to put it so it doesn't fall over. If you hear a crash, it fell over. Uh, a couple of other things now. Some toys. And yes, I have trolls. But trolls with a difference. 
um, Hooties, I know I've talked about it in the past. If you live in the Midlands area, it's where all toys went end of line. You could buy them cheap. So chances are you could buy the entire range of them. And these were there. And I can't remember. Somebody have to tell me, what are these actually called? Because I've just always called them Trolls. Um, 92. It's got a bit of paint on this one. These are the only ones that actually survive. So we've got like uh, Commander, you know what I mean? Uh, Army Man, but as a troll. I'll put them back up here just for a minute. We have the Terminator. So you know what I mean? These were definitely not aimed at girls. It was definitely riding the troll wave. But um, I also remember as well, there was lots of, um, like one had a dragon to sit on. Um, some of my catapults and, and all lots of add-ons you could have for them. We've got Rambo. Definitely Rambo there. These guys have seen better days. Need a better hair day. You know, get the hair done. And leave them up there. And my favourite, although it should really have red hair, but uh, the Viking. And actually, this one was mine. <laughs> yeah, it's got a bit of thumbnail, that one, isn't it? Um, yeah. This one definitely came with a catapult, which looked like a crossbow. And you put something in and you shoot. I think it used to shoot out a bullet with a net on it. I'm sure it did. But yeah, many years. And when I found these again, I absolutely... Blown away that I found these. Love them. Let's move them off here so we can read some other things. So we're definitely going down the whole childhood route. Because I said, we can buy these things back. We really could. But would it ever be the same? Man down. <laughs> um, so what else we got? Let's move on to another one. Uh, let's go with something a bit different. Because this one, I absolutely love this. Because this was bought for me for a birthday present from my wife. Has it got batteries in? No, it does not. Uh, I remember, this is back when I first started collecting retro games again. Um, and I saw it on one of these pages and I said, oh, I really, really like that. But, you know, somebody beat me to it. Uh, and I didn't realise the person that beat me to it was my wife. Um, she saw it there, she bought it, she put it away and I got it for my birthday. And what this is, is Pac-Man 2. If you can see it on there. And this is two-player Pac-Man. So one of them, you always play as Pac-Man. And then the other person on this side is the ghost who has to chase them around. Really good game, this. I haven't played it for a while. It's just been on display more than anything else. But the fact that my wife went out of her way and bought something for me for my collection, this is this why I, I really, really like this. And it, it looks good as well. It really does. Date we got on this one. 1981, Pac-Man 2. And it's... X, no, whatever. Why do I why do I bother trying to read stuff on camera? <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, we're going back down to the um, my childhood route again, and now we have Tomitronics Shark Attack. And if you remember your Tomitronics, the, that's why I can't change this. This actually was my one. <laughs> it really was. All these little marks and scratches down here, up in the battery compartment. I did all them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're trying to change the batteries and, and getting a knife and jamming it in there to open it up. Um, if you don't know what these are, this is basically late 80s, early 90s VR by Tomy. So you look through them like this and the light shines through the top bit here onto like an LCD screen. Sort of like a Tiger Electronic game kind of thing. But uh, yeah, and your buttons are here at the top and you moved around and you shot the sharks. Go for the high score. Um, but... It looked great back in the day, and I think they still look amazing now. There's a lot of different ones. I always wanted to try the car one. Never tried that one. But I know there's like a really rare monkey one. Um, but yeah, if you want to get some of these now, if this is something you remember, grab them while you can, because the prices of these are just going through the roof at the moment. Absolutely crazy. Stay. And I have shown this off before, and I even think this was on the first video that I did. Well, no, the first video, the first toy video I did, and it's this guy here. Spoke about him many times. He's made many appearances. Look at all the wear. And this is my Rock Lord Nugget. My actual Nugget toy from the Rock Lords. If you don't know what the Rock Lords are, are think of Transformers, but they turn into rocks. Somebody thought it was a good idea, so, you know, they went with it. Uh, there's lots and lots of Rock Lords toys that really are. I've got quite a few. I'm still always trying to collect them. I like the, the car that they've got as well, which turns into a plane. I love that. But for nostalgia, 
for a connection to the past. It's nugget. All the the hours playing with this guy. Yeah, you know I mean the good times, the bad times, the sad times. He's been there. He always will be. So that's why nugget is very important to me. And one of the prized things in my collection, it really is. Again, we go down the whole route of I could buy another one. I could get one that's brand new, shiny on the card. Won't be this nugget. Won't be my nugget. Um, oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> Do you know we have memories of things that like you remember playing over and over again? And now I've got kids, I can think of, my God, we must have driven my dad insane. Um, we've got these, they're called Starcades. Look at it, it's really rough though. Look how discoloured and everything and cracked that is. But what these are, are little wind up toys. And I remember the one I had before was like a tin can alley where it had a gun which you used to fire things at the back. I need to find that one. But the other one we had was this one. And I remember sitting in, because um, we used to go to a charity shop. This is where we got this from. We always got charity shops. This is why I love charity shops now. Um, I remember going to charity shops with my nan and she was, <laughs> Um, she was a Jehovah's Witness, if you know what I mean. She was so law-abiding and everything else. And then she, she'd sit there and go, well, that's more. Just, just slip that in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, just change the price tag on it. Could, couldn't believe it. You know. But, uh, yeah, memories. of This is where we got this from, from a charity shop. I remember sitting at the back of the car, winding it up, playing it, playing it, playing it. And I must have driven my dad mad. Because just listen to this. So you wind it up at the bottom here. I will move it closer to the microphone so you can actually hear this. And then you did this. So the whole idea of this one, as you can see, is trying to get all the men or ball bearings onto there before the time runs out. But this is what it sounds like. That's what I was doing in the back of my dad's car over and over and over again. If this was me and my kids were doing this, this would be launched out the window. <laughs> so I love having it and I just love how patient my dad must have been to put up I've got five brothers so the arguing with the five brothers playing with toys like that as well <sighs> a whole different level I know this has got no connection whatsoever to the past but when I started collecting I love my CRTs I came across this and I had to have it and forgive me I will hold this up to the camera very briefly because it's bloody heavy Oh, we've got a cable attached oh, and it's the oh, there we are can you hear me <laughs> can you hear me out here um this is the boom box crt and it's a black and white tv i'm gonna put it down again um i will be doing a more in-depth video on this and i have already done one in the past but that was a long time ago so i'm going to do another one again showing this off this was found on Facebook Marketplace where a guy used to have this in his caravan. And this was his TV he used to watch every holiday he used to go on. So it's not had a lot of wear. And I just think it looks absolutely stunning. It really does. Um, I just love it. So I am going to do, because I've got quite a few CRTs. Make sure that I fall off. I would like to do a video showing off different CRTs that I've got. But that's something to do in the future. Um, hope you actually got to see that properly. <laughs> you have to understand how heavy that thing actually is. So, yeah, these things. A connection to the past. Um, presence of loved ones now. There are many reasons why cer certain things are more prized in their collection than others. I've got games up there that are worth £200 plus. Pound. I'd sell in a heartbeat. But would I get rid of things like this? Not a chance. Worthless, but priceless to me. But that's that's nostalgia for you. You know what I mean? Again, very powerful drug nostalgia. Right, that's enough of me waffling. Um, I've got more Spectrum videos coming on Friday. And I've got lots more ideas and the works coming up. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for supporting me with this journey. Thanks for all the interactions and everything else. That's the most important thing. And I will catch you guys all again next time. And from me, and Nugget, bye.